on my show. These fields. They could have been the fields where David was wondering when his father Jesse sent for him on the prophet Samuel's command. God had sent the prophet to Jesse saying, I have provided me a king among his sons. Samuel did what the Lord commanded and came to Bethlehem. The elders of the town came to meet him, trembling, and said, You come peaceably. And he said, Peaceably. Jesse showed Samuel his eldest son, who seemed the natural choice. But Samuel knew that the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. And after Jesse had made seven of his sons pass before Samuel, Samuel asked him if all his children were there. And Jesse answered, there remaineth yet the youngest, and behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and with all of a beautiful countenance and goodly to look to. And the Lord said, Arise and anoint him, for this is he. And that is how David, the shepherd boy, was chosen to be king of all Israel and how Bethlehem became great as the city of David. Joseph of Nazareth brought Mary to Bethlehem. It was a hard journey for a girl expecting a baby. Mary must have been pleased to see the lights of Bethlehem that night. It seems quite a large town now. There must be thousands of people living there, most of them Christians. As we came nearer, we could see the Church of the Nativity high on the skyline. Higher than the flat-topped Arrant houses. Higher even than the tallest cypress trees. There it stood, the oldest church in the world. Oh, that would maybe suggest leaving the car. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it, really. I've always wanted to walk to Bethlehem. Large and bright in the frosty sky, leading the shepherds on. And they were in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God, and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known to us. In those days, that 
there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be enrolled. And this enrollment was first made when Quirinius was governor of Syria. They all went to be enrolled, everyone into his own city. She brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. 